A new Doggett Freightliner dealership was supposed to go at the backside of this far east side neighborhood, Paloma, which not every neighbor was thrilled about. That's not what I want in my backyard. Doggett's representative said local councilman Jalen McKee Rodriguez told him the vote on the plan would be pushed to a later meeting. Instead, he tried to cut it off at the knees in a surprise maneuver, attempting to annex the property under different zoning, which would kill the plan for a dealership and Doggett's backup plan to use it as parking. Had I let the applicant know we were going to be either denying it or doing this, it was going to be withdrawn, and it was going to continue to dangle over my constituency's head. His fellow council members punted on making a final decision. These items will be back for consideration for the council on November 7th. Or not. After the councilman's surprise attack, Doggett's attorney says they'll likely pivot and build the dealership in a less desirable spot across the street where it would already be allowed. And since the original location is still in the county, the city can't stop Doggett from using it as overflow parking. The city could try to annex the property once Doggett begins to use it as parking, but by then, its use would be grandfathered in. So if you tried to, they tried run, to run, uh, run you, you're gonna head run him. Yeah. That's right. Okay. That's right. But to the councilman, there wasn't anything to lose by trying. What we got today is the same result, essentially. Do you think the residents are going to be happy with what you end up doing with it now based on today based on today, and based on I your pivot? I think they're going to be miserable, but they're miserable. Paloma residents plan to make Doggett miserable too. Very nice people at, at 311. Uh, Mark will just be calling them, writing them continuously, and documenting everything. And they aren't convinced it will end up as parking. Either way, it's not yet the end of the road. Garrett Berger, KSAT 12 News.